Hello Pisces, this is an X reading for January 31st through February the 6th. This is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. If you guys are new to the channel, welcome. Please hit the like button, share the video, and subscribe. What's going on with my Pisces this week? Pisces. Hmm, I like it, Nine of Pentacles. A lot of you guys are feeling better wonderful feeling confident in yourselves and your ability um i think you are about ready to start dating um i think that um you're, you're good right now i think a lot of you are really just trying to devote more time and energy to yourself to the things that you like to do okay the things that make you feel good let's see what's going on with your ex that's virgo energy right there What's going on with Pisces X currently? Ooh, the devil. Hmm. I feel like this person is probably really feeling the loss of you right now. Um, I think they, they're probably doing things that are not good for them. Um, some of them could be, you know, using drugs or something like that. They could be like, um, drinking heavily even but just doing things that they feel that that's making them feel good in the moment because I feel like they are still truly attached to you um, feeling very possessive of you maybe even obsessed with you guys okay that's Capricorn energy right there let's see what your perception of your ex is here Pisces perception of your ex That they're dating that they're out there just doing whatever um, trying to get attention um, maybe they've even like been texting and calling you um, erratically maybe during the middle of the night even um, but you feel like this person is like out there like they're out of control is what I'm getting here hmm. let's see what your ex's perception is of you What's X's, Pisces X perception of Pisces here? The world, that you're moving on. That you're moving on. Mm. That you're starting over. That you're doing new things. That maybe you guys are out dating. You're looking fabulous. And um, they are having a fit about it. Okay? An absolute fit about it. Let's see what your feelings are about getting back together here. Pisces feelings about getting back together. Page of Wands. I don't know why, but I feel like you guys, you know, you have very little interest in communicating with this person. I think that you would engage with them. Um, very little. Because I think you're, you're leery of them. So you're almost like blocking full-on communication like you used to okay if they've been in contact with you um, you're, you're kind of leery about them and I think there's a little piece of you though that you know you're you're wanting them to to be what you need for them to be what you deserve and so you're still kind of open to like being with them communicating with them even okay because you want to see a change is what I'm getting here Okay, so let's see what your ex's feelings are about getting back together here. Hmm. This person really wants to be with you. I feel like at this point, they are probably wanting to marry you. If that was an issue for you before, um, and that's something that you discussed with them that they weren't willing to do, I think now they are. And maybe they have spoken this to you. Maybe they're, you know, at this point, they're willing to give you whatever it is that you want. Because they just want to be with you. Because I feel like this person is very, um, they're kind of obsessed with being with you at this point, okay? They're obsessed with losing you. Because they feel like, you know, you guys are like bonded together, okay? Hmm. Well, all right. 
Let's see how you can help to increase the chances of reconciliation here. How can you help by doing what's right? By doing what's right, um, I think to bring this thing to a close, however that is for you, if you feel like, um, you know, you being with this person, giving them another chance is the right thing for you is doing that. If you feel like, you know, too much has happened here, that you can't trust them, that you can't allow them back in your life, is handling it though with integrity. Whatever decision you decide, whatever decision you choose, okay, with justice. Is balancing the scales of karma, you know, doing what you feel is right in this situation, okay? That's just the bottom line. Judging it, the, you know, for what it is. Doing what's best for you and the other person. And doing what's best for the other person does not entail you getting back with them necessarily, okay? It's handling the situation with integrity. All right, so let's see how your ex can increase the chances of getting back together. How can Pisces X increase the chances of getting back together? Pisces X, how can they increase the chances of getting back together here? The Queen of Cups. I feel like this is them being all in um, and, and not being distracted, to be honest with you, because this Queen of Cups, her face is, um, you know, in one, pointing in one direction, but she's holding, extending the cup in another direction here. So this is being all in, um, you know, not wavering, feeling very sure that, you know, this is what you want. I think they need to show you that this is really where they want to be here, honestly, and give you the love and support that you need, the emotional stability, um, the receptive energy, a softer approach to things here, okay? So let's go ahead and see what the potential outcome is for Pisces and their ex. The potential out outcome for Pisces and their ex here, the full Mm, I love it. Aries energy. Um, Pisces as well, I feel. But this is you guys. I feel like, you know, really taking a chance on this thing. So I feel like there is a very strong potential that both of you will do the work and both of you will decide that, you know what, I'm willing to give this another try. Okay, so my Pisces, that's what I have for you guys. We have Aries here, um, Sagittarius, Cancer energy, I feel, Libra, um, Capricorn, Virgo energy, guys. And um, that's what I have for you, and I will be speaking with you guys soon. Bye.